Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and recently on my YouTube channel I have been uploading videos on Gradio framework and I have uploaded some videos about developing a web UI using this beautiful Gradio framework by Hugging Face. So in this video you will learn how to deploy a Gradio web UI on a platform called Render. So let's get started. Before we move forward, I have a GitHub repository where I have created a demo application and I will deploy this demo application through uh, GitHub on render. So I am here inside uh, my Visual Studio code and I have activated my virtual environment and installed all the uh, required dependencies using requirements.txt file and first. Uh, I will run the application locally so that I, I can make sure that the application is working as I want it to work. So for that I will run the application using UV uh, let me first yeah so I will run the application using UV corn then the file that I want to run in my case it is run colon app hyphen hyphen reload so that whenever I make a change into the file it will reload the application and I'll run this application so here I have a demo application where I have Gradio interface which takes a function inputs outputs and allow flagging to never uh, this input is a text box and output is a text box this greet function receives a text and returns the same text so that means whatever I write in the input I will see as output now the application is running so I'll click here and you can see that yeah let me zoom a bit you can see that Gradio app is running at uh, slash Gradio so this is my URL and I'll say slash Gradio so it will show this uh, user interface and if I write something here hi and hit submit we will see hi in the output and this app is not doing anything great but in order to learn how to deploy this application this is sufficient now inside my run.py uh, I have created fast API app in the uh, home route or root route I am just returning that Gradio app is running uh, at slash Gradio and in order to mount a Gradio app to this fast API app you need to use Gradio dot mount Gradio app which will take fast API app uh, Gradio blocks and the path on which you want to uh, run this Gradio application yeah, you can see here in the function documentation fast api app blocks and string so i have provided that and in order to run a fast api app you need to uh, use this command unicorn run uh, colon app and this reload is just to make sure uh, uh, debugging is true now uh, I will I'm, I'm satisfied with the version of application running locally on my machine so what I'll do is that I'll push the code to github uh, I already have pushed the code uh, let me like uh, ran during recording I'll commit this I'll save changes yeah so now uh, the changes are on my github and let me just make sure that the changes are there yeah rain during uh, recording now I will go to render now I am on render and I have done two things first I have logged in into render and second I have connected my github repository next I'll click on this new and web service this uh, interface will list out all the uh, github repositories so this is the one that i want to connect 
So I'll click on connect. I'll say Gradio hyphen demo hyphen app. Uh, for the region, I will select the one that is nearest to me. Yeah, the branch is main Python 3, a pip install r yeah, requirements.txt. Now in the start command, what I'll write is that uv con, then my file name is run, then colon app, and then uh, I'll provide uh, two more things, yeah, host and port number like this so uvcon space run colon app space hyphen hyphen space uh, 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 uh, hyphen hyphen port and 5000 i'll select the free tire and then in the advanced section i'll add one environment variable and for that what i'll do i'll just write python in my virtual environment and that will give me the correct python version that i am using so I'll, I'll use this so for that i'll say python underscore version and that will be 3.9.17 and then i'll click on create web service this will uh, start the deployment process and it will first you know uh, create a virtual environment add all the dependencies and then start the application using the start command we have provided i will resume this video once the deployment process uh, comes to an end now you can see that our application is uh, deployed and running you can see this green live text so now i can click on this url this will be my url so i can click on this url and you can see uh, we got this uh, response that gradio app is running at this slash gradio so i can now copy this and i can append this here and if i run that you will see that yeah our gradio application is running on server and we can test the working as well when i say hi we'll see hi in the output so this is how you can deploy your gradio application on server and the easiest way is render what you need to do is that you need to first make sure the application is running locally on your machine make sure you have requirements.txt file then you push the code on github go to render create your account connect your github repository create a new web service then provide environment variables and make sure you provide the correct python version that you are using locally to uh, grade you using python underscore version and then you choose the tire and then you deploy the application so i hope uh, this video is informative to you and i hope that you have learned how to deploy gradio application on a server and if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace